my name is Adam Van Gerpen, Captain Los Angeles City Fire Department. Welcome to Fire Station 84. Let me give you a tour. This is my home when I'm at the fire station. Inside here is where I sleep when I'm at the fire station. It's important when you're at home to check your smoke alarm inside where you sleep and also outside of the area that you sleep. Firefighter Pat is going to demonstrate how we check those smoke alarms. Sure, Cap. So you always hear that annoying sound, that chirping sound. When you hear that, your smoke alarm is telling you something. So it's either telling you you need to change your battery or you need to change the smoke alarm. Once we change the battery or change the smoke alarm, we're going to go ahead and test it. Cap, we're good to go. Thank you, Pat. Here we are in our fire station kitchen. Just like you have a kitchen at home, we have one here. This is the most important place to practice safe behavior. We always store matches and lighters in a safe place. We are very cautious around hot liquids. We always have a fire extinguisher close at hand and we check it once a month. Needles in the green, good to go, Cap. We have lots of different fire apparatus in Los Angeles. We have ambulances that take you to the hospital if you're sick or injured. We have helicopters and fire boats. Tell me you're ready. You ready? Yeah. We even have scuba divers and search and rescue dogs. We're trained to help people in all kinds of emergencies. And we wear special equipment to get the job done. Just like my friend, Firefighter Pat, who was wearing all of his personal protective equipment, this is what he looks like when he goes inside of a fire. If you listen very closely, you can hear his breathing. I may look and sound scary, but I'm not. I need this for safety in a fire. So if you see someone that looks or sounds just like me, don't be afraid and don't hide. Firefighter Pat and I, whenever we go to a fire, we also have an escape plan. This is something that you should have at your house also. That's right, Cap. Everyone should make a family escape plan. Choose two ways out of your house. and a safe place to meet once you escape your home. And never go back inside, not even for your pets. Leave that up to us. We save pets every day. Save the kitty. Roger, Kevin. Thank you. 